all right guys welcome back to another video all right guys so today just gonna show you guys how to get your playstation games directly on your asus rogue ally right so with this right here it's gonna show you how to get all your games directly in asus rogue ally so this is the playstation remote play app so it's gonna, i'm gonna show you how to stream all your games from anywhere in the world guys anywhere as long as you got a stable internet you got the rogue ally you got a ps5 then you're gucci you should be up and running or streamline and it's easier to use compared to checky there's a less steps you gotta do to set it up and it's basically more efficient because it's directly from playstation right so i'm gonna show you guys how to do it how to get it up and running make sure everything is intact and stuff like that there's one downfall with this that um that's different from checky but i'll get to that soon and before i do that guys please hit that like button make sure you subscribe to the channel let me know what you think about my videos drop a comment down below so thanks guys for tuning in i really appreciate it so let me get into the video real quick oh i'm dead shit all right let me get into the video real quick So the first thing you want to do, right, you want to download the PlayStation app, the Remote Play PlayStation app, and the link will be in the description down below. When you get to the screen, it will be just like this. You just got to scroll all the way down. When you get here, you just have to agree to the terms and condition, right? Then you hit download. Once you download, it should pop up in a minute now. Yep, see it's downloading right here. Let it finish download, then you just gotta open it and install it. All right, so when you download it, you just gotta click the executable, hit yes. You let it run. You hit next again. So this is where you want to choose what um, folder you want to get it installed to. You can put it to C drive, you can put it in downloads, wherever you want to put it, right? So I'm going to put it in C drive. You just hit next, install. You let it let it do its thing. Go through all the process. Shouldn't take that long. Like an app, remote play, hit sign in. You just got to sign into your PlayStation account. Hit confirm. So now you choose what system you have. If you have PS5, PS4. So I got PS5. So hit PS5. Gives you that little warning right there. Hit OK. Now we're searching for the, for the PS5, right? All right. So it failed the first time because my PS5 wasn't on. So just gotta make sure it's on. You establish that first connection. And then after that, you should be able to put it to sleep, awake it using just this remote app, right? All right, so that's it. And now you're connected, right? You could double hit it, press it. And then you bring up this thing right here to put it full screen. And there you go. All right, so guys, so remember that downfall I told you guys? about with this so now you can't use these controls that's a downfall you got to use playstation control right so with that now you just got to get a cable because you can't you also cannot use bluetooth not sure why but that's how they're doing it so now i gotta plug this out i don't have my adapter next to me and then you gotta plug this in here right to get that down and you got your playstation controller then you should be good see now you're using it just like you would on your ps5 to fix the sound let me get into that real quick if you want to fix the sound of the system you make it smaller again and then you got to go down here to sound if so i could press it hit settings right then you go to systems then you go to sounds then you go right here so you can switch between 
speaker headphones so you could put directly your headphones in here and you could listen it just like that if you want to hear your game just like that or you go to a speaker and then that's how you get it working now let me turn it up and now you guys should start hearing it there you go so the next thing I want to show you guys is you want to add it to armor crate I mean by now you guys should be able to not do that you just got to go to armor crate right you go to add you scroll down and look for it till you get the PS remote play you hit that and then you hit done then it's gonna add it there so now you can launch it directly from armor crate and you can get it up and running right there guys so yeah guys so that's basically it that's how you get remote play officially from PlayStation the legit way directly from PlayStation that's how you get it up and running guys I to show you how to make the sound work how to get the game up and running so before I forget also you got to make sure you turn on remote play directly on your PlayStation so you got to go to settings and system and then you just look for remote play and make sure it's enabled once that's enabled then you should be good you should be up and running so just follow all the steps guys and then you should you could play your games anywhere difference between this and checky is that this you could play it anywhere in the world as long as you got a good connection you could have play your games directly on your playstation and you can wake your playstation turn it off directly from the ps app right so that's basically it guys so hit that like button subscribe to the channel let me know what you think and drop a comment down below guys and remember to always say guys health is wealth peace and love i'm out thanks to one in